Hello dear Capricorn, welcome to Divine Debut. This is Kathy speaking. Happy Halloween. Today is Halloween. It's the 31st of October 2018. This is your divine spread for the beginning till mid-November 2018. Love and general reading and it is going to be extended on Vimeo so they're about half hour each the video on YouTube, another half hour roughly on Vimeo. So they're quite long readings. Let's see what is in store for you. The messages for Capricorn. So what is your karma or dharma message for November, which is a very important time. Very important time indeed. As I'm talking to you and doing this right now, Venus is right opposite Uranus so things happening unexpectedly anything to do with Venus Uranus is breaking down it's rebelling it's also doing things differently so Uranus is the higher mind so anything to do with communication on a higher level Venus is what we love and she's right on zero degrees in between Scorpio and Libra. <clears throat> Excuse me, she's actually retrograding still back. Backwards, going backwards in the sky. She's moving into Libra, which will be a very good time for communication. Um, like redoing any situation, anything to do with Venus and Libra. Libra is finding balance. It's the house of partnership. So... Things happening unexpectedly, we've got Uranus at zero and Venus at zero. So this is a really important time right now. Anything can happen. Let's see what your message is. And we've got the Empress. And the Empress is Taurus Libra. That is incredible. The Empress is, of course, manifestation. It's abundance. It's love. She's the mother of earth. She's the major arcana. So the divine message, I should say, the dharma for you is that abundance is here for you, dear Capricorn. It's looking good to start off with. Let's take a black, black moon astrology card. This is a bonus card for the divine spread because November is very, very important indeed. There, is so, there are so many transits that are happening. It's, it's a crazy time. We've also got the North Node and the South Node at zero degrees, zero degrees, 38 minutes, as well as Mercury at zero degrees of zero and 11 minutes of Sagittarius. So... All these zero degrees, it's a very, very, what's the word I want to say? Distinct time and important. Let's see for Capricorn, what message do we have here? And we've got earth element stability. And that's exactly what you go for. That's what you want. Now we've got the, the goddess of earth, the mother of earth. And we've got Earth Element Stability. This is beautiful, Capricorn. Some of you may be dealing with a Taurus. I'm going to say why. Because usually, and with the Empress, uh, we can say Aries as well. Aries energy. But because we've got two cards of Earth, we've got Taurus Libra. So you may be dealing either with a Taurian. Libra is the... Um, the other sign that you may be dealing with. Some of you may have Libra strong in your chart, so it can go either way. She is a number three. Three is a number of expansion and growth. Now this could be a mother. A mother. You could be the mother. If this is stabilizing some sort of a relationship, even a business, Venus is blessing you. There's Venus. There's the sign Venus. Right, Aphrodite, the goddess of love and beauty and all things that we value. So, 
Okay, Venus will be in Libra on uh, on the 5th. On the 5th of November, today is the 31st. Um, what am I saying? No, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. No, she will be in Libra in 11 hours. So it's a countdown. Okay, it's a countdown. And on the 5th of November is when we'll be able to see Venus in the sky as the morning star. So let's take your divine spread for Capricorn, 1st to the 15th of November 2018. Let's see what's going on with you. Love and general reading. So at the foundation, we've got the Six of Cups. Now what is hidden from your eyes, what you do not know, is the Four of Pentacles. In the recent past, we've got the Five of Pentacles. And there was another sign that got the Four and the Five of Pentacles. Um, so it was either either Scorpio or either Sagittarius because they're the two videos that I've uploaded okay what's in the present position we've got the two of wands and this is Sagittarian energy for me two of wands looking across the seas there is a new door here um, this could also be a decision that you're wanting to make Let's see what your goal is. The Page of Cups. Now the advice is the King of Pentacles. Wow. Taurus. This is more than likely a Taurian person. Um, if, this, if you are not dealing with a Taurus, this could be your energy. You are Earth after all. Let's see what the divine message is for you. And we've got the Knight of Cups. So we've got the Page and the Knight of Cups. And the outcome card, dear Capricorn, wow, is the Chariot. This is beautiful energy. So Cancer would be the water sign. We've also got a bit of Pisces here. Now, some of you may be dealing with a Piscean person or... A cancerian person okay because we've got the chariot in the outcome position so could it be someone could you be dealing with someone that is um, that has got Taurus or Libra as well as water yes cancer would be more than likely now in the foundation we have six of cups now with Venus retrograde, right, Venus going through being in Scorpio and then turning retrograde, um, Venus is love and money, it's projects, anything that we value, anything that is of value to us, to our lives. With Venus turning retrograde, there is a theme of people coming back from the past. Now the Six of Cups could be someone from your childhood that may have come back into your life. This could even be anything to do with children because the Six of Cups is a very innocent energy. It is two people having been together, whether in this life or in the past life, because I believe in past lives. And retrogrades are always when, you know, when the planet seems to be going backwards, its energy goes inwards. So going inwards at a time of retrograde, when we say we go inwards, it's we're not so moving forward. Just like the planet seems to be going backwards, we're sort of going backwards ourselves back in time, back to old projects, back to old people, uh, back to our childhood. If this is not a previous life, a past life, then it's your childhood. So I feel that there was a strong bond with um, strong water here, strong water, 
And cups are all about emotions, right? This is a six. This is a number of balance. Now, we've got in the hidden position the four of pentacles. And I want to say that the four of pentacles for me many times is Taurian energy. That's how I see this card. Um, why? Because Taurus is very good with their money. They're very careful. Now, this could be any earth sign, obviously. Because earth signs are very slow, very slow moving, they're very calculated, they're very um, stable and they don't move ahead, they don't move, move forward unless they are certain of a situation. But with the four of pentacles it just rings Taurus. Now this is what you don't know, that if you are dealing with a Taurian person, um, if this is anything to do with romance and what we truly value, who we truly value in our lives, I feel as though you are someone is holding you close to their heart. I don't believe that they've gotten over you if you are dealing with a Taurus who's got water, strong water in their chart, could be moon or rising. I feel as though this is the same person, right? Now, fours always speak of home and stability. Um, now, this is for a small amount of you. If this is you, please comment and let me know that I'm reading for you. If you have been in a committed partnership relationship, because fours always speak of home and family. Now, four is also the house of cancer. Okay. If you were in a committed partnership or relationship where there's been a severing of ties, a separation, I don't feel that this person has let you go yet. You're still in their heart and this is what you don't know. And you're probably wondering how do they feel about me? Well, this, you're still in their heart, right? And this is someone, if we are talking about Taurus, strong Taurus, right, energies here, once you've won a Taurian person, they you can't get rid of them very easily, and that's a fact. Now, in the recent past, we've got the Five of Pentacles, so you both feel the same, you both feel left out in the cold, you both are feeling a, a sense of lack, not being loved, feeling um, remote, feeling alone. Okay, so both people are on the same page. Now it's a four and then it's a five. So if we add the two pentacle cards, they add up to a nine, which speaks of standing alone, being alone, financially being in an okay, in a good place, but emotionally, and I usually see, I usually see the five of pentacles as a very spiritual energy as well so spiritually feeling left out not in alignment okay now this is a blessing that you don't know of there is still potential here this person is still here okay now this is for, for those people that are dealing with someone who they were committed to that they've been together with a long time now this could also be someone from your past who just who had a liking for you, a love for you um, that they never got over. And it, with Venus retrograde in such a strong retrograde of Scorpio and then Libra, um, yes, it could be this person coming back, coming back into your life. Now, in the present situation, we have the Two of Wands. So the Two of Wands is anything to do with career. Wands are all about our vocation, what we uh, feel inspired to do. Now, as I said, this is Sagittarian energy for me. He is holding that world ball. Some of you may be thinking of moving, traveling, um, changing your lives. There is a decision that's going to change something in your life. It's as though you're walking through a new door. Um, now this is, um, as I said, it's what maybe you've created something. Maybe if this is business, 
you're hoping to expand and work with people that are at a distance, right? Nevertheless, there is a decision happening here. There's a decision that you need to make and you are really, really seriously thinking of moving through something new, going for something that maybe it could be that you've started something in the past and now you're picking it back up again. You are at the two and twos are a number of balance, of course. Now, if we, um, if we look at these two cards together, they do look very similar. It looks like the same person, but the cape is missing here, right? So this person is ready to go on a voyage. They're ready to move. Um, here we've got a sudden message of love, a sudden message of friendship, uh, a sudden opening up of the emotions and speaking from the heart. So this is unexpected. It's a very youthful energy. So, you know, youth and children, we do have a saying that says that you will hear the truth from children. Um, from you will you will hear the truth from children and from crazy people. That's the, a Greek saying, a Greek proverb. So here I feel that with this youthful um, offer that's coming through, and it is a time of speaking from our deepest um, innermost self with Scorpio, right? That's what has been hidden, and that's what Jupiter is doing bringing up everything that has been hidden, information is coming to light. Now with Uranus opposite Venus, this is something unexpected. So could it be, if this, if this is the same person, could it be that this person is at a distance to you? Or could it be that you are invited, you have uh, an invitation to travel and go and visit? It could go either way. Now, the Page of Cups can be an adolescent child uh, as well because we do have the mother here. If this is a child of yours that is actually thinking of flying the coop, moving out of home, then they may be move, moving to a distance and they have been saving hard you know, it's as though they're growing wings and flying away. Also, with the earth element, it is a number 38. It does talk of stability. 38 does add up to an 11. It's like the new doorway that I'm talking about. And 11 for me is a very, very karmic number. Now here in the advice position is the king of pentacles. He's very stable. He's very financially secure. This is someone really that you can depend on. Now, if this is your energy, let's say, whatever you are planning, whatever move you are planning on expanding on, whatever decision you're hoping to make, and with this message that's coming through, it seems like it's an offer that's really going to pay off. So this is unexpected. It's a very good omen coming through. Now pages always bring in change. And with pages and the messages, we can actually turn the page a page in our life. Goodness knows that we've got plenty there. So it's as though you're having a major change. And that's what I think that with the zero degrees of all the planets and the North Node and South Node that I just mentioned, there is drastic change coming in. And having the Earth element for you, stability, this is exactly what you want. Now, dear Capricorn, also the nodes are changing. As I said, North and South Node are at zero degrees. North Node is in Leo, zero and 38 minutes. And it's also in Aquarius, the South Node, which is ready to move into your sign. And that will be happening. That's going to be happening, where is it? In 
six and a half days. So there are major changes for Capricorn and Cancer and of course everyone else. If you are cross-watching, everyone is affected in some part of their life but the where the nodes are, those two signs are the more affected. So very interesting 18 months coming up for you, dear Capricorn. Now, the outcome card is Cancer, the chariot, overcoming obstacles. It is a number seven. Sevens are a divine number. So some of you, as I said, you are moving, moving literally. Others of you are in the driver's seat. It's your turn to take charge and move metaphorically, literally, whatever sort of movement you need to make. Some of you may be changing homes, okay? You may be changing to a new home, right? Some of you may have been saving your pennies, going back to a neighborhood, a place uh, that was near and dear to your heart. Now, some of you may be moving because of a mother, Nevertheless, whatever this is, there are offers, and you could have two offers that are coming through. We have a maybe a premature offer. Now, this could be your energy, and the divine message here, the Knight of Cups, could be your partner, right? It could go either way. There is an age difference here. Now, if this is just an energy, maybe this was a thought and a goal, and the Divine is actually bringing you the Knight of Cups right now. Now look at the emotion, look at the water, look at how high up the water is, which says that this is a very, very deep and emotional offer. Now it looks like this Knight is in some sort of hot water. It's it's not something easily done. It's not easy for this offer to come through, but I feel that with the um, with the help of the divine, because this is the divine position, this is what's going on planetarily, you may have slight obstacles which you will be able to overcome. That's what I want to say. Now, if we look at the um, if we look at the five of pentacles, it's looking straight at, of course, the empress right and then moving towards the chariot so this is a big move now just like playing chess this is a very big and important move the advice is that stability is here if this is your partner this is someone that is very stable they're not going anywhere now they can be financially very stable as well if this is business, you're either dealing with someone who is a very good, like he's he's the leader. He can he can stabilize any business. He will bring growth, prosperity, and stability. Of course. Now, if this is your energy, you're right on track. What you're doing, what offer is coming in for you? If this is business then really look at it. This is an offer that's worth accepting. Now, if they've come back a second time, maybe first time the offer, it was not the right time to accept. Now is the right time, dear Capricorn, whether this is love, money, an apology from family, from a loved one, from a friend, it's the right time to accept. Let me see if I if I get anything else. Because this is the card of Cancer, Cancer is the house of home. That's why I said that some of you may be actually moving away uh, from home. Others of you are moving into a new home, somewhere where you're going to be stable, somewhere that is that feels right for you. And I feel that. Um, it could even be at a distance, right? And I feel that 
I feel that I need to say home is where the heart is. So whatever that means for you, I don't know. Nevertheless, we've got an offer of love here. If you are single, I would say Taurus or Libra uh, with strong water, as I said, Cancer or Pisces. Now we've got Sagittarius here as well. So we may have a few that are dealing with Sagittarian energy. But Sagittarius is all about, um, Sagittarius is usually all about the truth. Um, it's a very spiritual sign. So again, spirituality comes into the mix here. If you've had someone that has been holding back, holding back their love and not opening up, I think that it's time for them to come clean and speak, speak from the heart, right? So the Four of Pentacles, fours, another four, which is stability, home, family. So we've got a lot of, um, we've got a couple of cards which speak of home. Okay, now the Empress is collecting the wheat, collecting the crops. For those of you that have been investing, your time, your energy, it's been hard. It is time to receive. With the Empress and with the King of Pentacles, that is a gorgeous energy for you. Okay? And this is physical, tangible success as well. All right. So that's, that's an unexpected surprise, dear Capricorn. Whichever way it works for you, it's looking fab. And I will be... Ex ending this reading of course on Vimeo so thank you so much for um, liking sharing and subscribing as well as commenting your feedback has been wonderful it's great I love it thank you so much uh, I do appreciate it so I will be back um, in the next few days do keep well look after yourselves and good luck with uh, Good luck with what's happening first days of November. Very important time, as I said, 6th, 7th and 8th of November, as well as 9th, astrologically incredible. I'm actually going to do a video on Vimeo, an astrology video. So for those of you that are interested, I will go into the details. So I will be uploading that within a week, um, less than a week, I would say. So look out for that. All right, sending you all love. Thank you, dear Capricorn. Bye.